Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Daredevil issue 36, and this is the last issue of this Mark Wade series. Um, I think the next All New Daredevil, I think it's called All New Daredevil, yes it is called All New Daredevil, I think it's coming out um, next month, so we don't have to wait that long, it comes out next month, I think they also have a digital thing going on for a whole month on Marvel's in Comixology, so go check that out if you want to see what happens in between this series and the next series, which uh, maybe I'll get it if it collects in a, a one issue, then I'll get the printed version. Um, let's talk about this issue, Daredevil, uh, the ending of a really great series, which uh, I can't believe took me so long to get jump onto, but I'm glad that I read a lot of the last couple of issues and the first trade I got a chance to read, so I've read most of the issues for the series. Uh, but love this cover. It's something we've been waiting for. Why is Matt Murdock closing his door? Um, and the art is great for this. I love the art for this series. Um, and it fits so perfectly uh, for Daredevil. Um, but also, if you remember, issue 35 was my pick of the week from last month. I thought it was great. Love the cliffhanger. Because the cliffhanger is right here. My name is Daredevil. He reveals that he's Daredevil. So either this could be a horrible issue that he does a cop out and he's like, nah, I'm not Daredevil. But we'll see. Maybe he doesn't do a cop-out. Maybe this is a wonderful issue because he doesn't do the cop-out. Uh, so at the beginning of this issue, we get to see Foggy and Matt. They're making a plan. And, you know, Foggy says, I don't want to regret my life. And I want you to go with your plan. So go with it. So Matt goes with his plan. And obviously that was a reveal that he was Daredevil. So you confused the, whole, the serpents. And there was a lot of confusion because everyone cared that he was Daredevil more. And in the end, he defeats the serpents. He learned that the judge was actually a serpent also. Uh, he captures them. They go to jail. And his idea was right. And everyone knows he's Daredevil. He actually changed into Daredevil in front of the, in front of the court. So the question is, will he get disbarred in New York? And he gets disbarred even though they're like, we, we love what you did. Uh, we're not against you. And I don't think we should be against you. Uh, but we do have to disbar you just because of ethics pretty much. We, we have to. Uh, so we do, you know, um, McDuffie, uh, uh, I guess Daredevil's girlfriend now, uh, figures out an idea. You lived in San Francisco previously. You could actually get your barment there. And that's where they're going. They're going to San Francisco. They're going across the, across the coast. They're going together. So that's the character that we will see in the next series. Hopefully we'll see Foggy also. And that's it. We get to see a really cool cast moving into uh, the next Daredevil series. And uh, honestly, I love this issue. There's some great monologues. Uh, but first of all, the monologue with Daredevil. Uh, he expresses why he kept his secret identity. Uh, why he was going to sue uh, the newspaper because they told his identity. Uh, and the monologue is great. It's all about secret identities. And one thing I love about superheroes is their secret identity and how they reveal it. And I thought it was just a perfect way they did it in the last issue. And continuing it here, it wasn't a cop-out. It wasn't like, no, I'm not Daredevil. I just did this for the, the serpents. It really was, hey, I'm Daredevil. I'm finally revealing my identity. Um, he explains why we, they don't reveal their identities. And the monologue was perfect. I love it. I read it about three times during the issues. I really love the monologue. Um, I love the conversation between Foggy and uh, Matt. You know, this dying man saying, what did I do in my life? Did Was it worth it? You know, was my life worth it? Did I miss something? And uh, I love th that friendship. You know, even though Matt's done some, you know, crap in his life. Uh, he always says, you know what, you always had that genuine, um, I can't think of the word what he said, he always said, um, he had integrity, um, that Daredevil always had integrity, no matter what he did, that's, that's what, that characteristic uh, that Matt always had, so Foggy's like, I always wanted something like that, you know, I want to be true to myself, what did I do in my life? Uh, and he says, I want to be true to you, that's what I did in my life, so that conversation, tearjerker. Uh, you know, there's just some really great moments here. Great character moments, uh, great action. Uh, the serpent story's over. We got a love interest in the end, because I really like McDu McDuffie's character also. I think she's going to be a great addition for the next series. Uh, I think she did a great job here as a supporting cast in Daredevil. And hopefully Foggy moves on to the next series, and if he does, hopefully we get a really good goodbye for his character also. Um, 
But great. I love the art. Love the story. Uh, this is my pick of the week. Five stars. Really good ending. If you're not reading Daredevil, uh, pick up all the trades. It's, it's definitely worth the series. And at least pick up that next issue. It's still Mark Wade. It's still the same creative team. Just a different name. So And a different coast also. Uh, but really looking forward to it. And uh, I love Mark Wade's run on this. And uh, I give it five stars. My pick of the week. I, this is the first issue I read this week. I knew this was going to be my pick of the week, and it definitely was. There was one title that did come a little close to it, uh, but by the end, Daredevil was totally my pick of the week. So I give that five stars. Please tell me in the comments below what you thought about this issue, and if this was your pick of the week also, for if you had another pick of the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Duno. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Duno and the Rad Situations, and don't forget to like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.